Hi everybody. Yesterday we discussed about uh, parallelogram law of vector addition and how to solve problems on that. Yes or no? Right. So let us continue our topic uh, vectors. Yesterday a student asked me a question. That is uh, how to calculate uh, angle made by the vector with uh, any axis angle made by a vector with any axis means angle made by the vector with the x axis or angle made by the vector with the y axis or z axis how to calculate it so let us see that how to calculate suppose let us take uh, a is a vector like uh, 2i plus 3j minus 4k right this is a vector three dimensional vector now i want to calculate uh, angle made by angle made by a vector a with the uh, x axis first with x axis right so suppose see here if i draw the vector it looks like this so this is uh, let us take x axis so y axis and suppose this is z axis mutually perpendicular axis i have taken so i am going to draw a vector a is this suppose this is the vector a here what is the angle made by this vector with x axis let us take this is the angle made by the vector with x axis let us take this as alpha okay what is the angle made by a with y axis this is let us take beta what is angle made by vector a with the z axis this is let us take this as gamma actually this z axis is in this way perpendicular to this okay z axis is this understood so i cannot draw the z axis in the air that's why i have drawn in this way right now now i want to calculate angle made by the vector with x axis right so now see this is uh, the x axis what is the component of the vector along x axis that is 2 component of uh, vector with y axis along y axis 3 what is the component of uh, vector along z axis 4 okay here we can write uh, cos alpha is equal to what can i write cos alpha right i want to get this one okay so this is uh, adjacent divided by hypotenuse what is the adjacent uh, let us take that as a x by what is the hypotenuse that is the magnitude of vector a completed this is the angle made by the vector with x axis alpha understood that is vectors component along x axis divided by its magnitude cos alpha is adjacent by hypotenuse that is only in a in right angle triangle so this is uh, a x is how much 2 divided by magnitude of a that is root over how much sir 4 plus 9 plus 16 we know that 2 square plus 3 square minus 4 whole square so this is uh, 2 by root over 9 plus sorry 29 you can write directly so this is the angle made by the vector with x axis similarly what is the angle made by the vector with y axis y axis can you tell what is that cos beta is equal to what is that this is the adjacent and hypotenuse so a y by modulus of a Similarly, what is the angle made by the vector with a z axis? Nana? Very simple. That is cos gamma is equal to. Yes, you got it. A z by modulus of a. In this way, one can calculate uh, angle made by any vector with uh, x axis, y axis and z axis. Understood? Very good. Next, uh, coming to today's topic. Today we are going to discuss about uh, multiplication of vectors.
what is that multiplication of vectors here let us uh, discuss that multiplication so we have learned addition and subtraction of vectors now the thing is multiplication right first let us see how we can multiply a vector with a scalar vector with uh, a scalar this is very easy even sixth seventh class standard children also can understand i'll explain in a simple manner see here so let us take uh, a scalar any scalar let uh, n be a scalar n is a scalar it can have any value sir it can have positive values it can have uh, negative values it can have uh, fractions right anything suppose let us take uh, n is a scalar and uh, a is a vector like uh, 2i minus j plus uh, 3k in this example i have taken this right i want to multiply scalar with a vector it is uh, n into a bar n into a bar here n is scalar right and a is a vector when you multiply a scalar with a vector you will get again a vector physical quantity remember this one when you multiply a scalar with a vector again you will get a vector physical quantity now suppose let us take n is a two well n is a two right now now n into a bar is equal to how much two into two i minus j plus three k that is two into two four i two minus j two into minus j minus two j plus two into three six k see again we have i j case so that it is a vector so when you multiply a scalar with a vector you will get a simply vector physical quantity understood so here see that suppose uh, this is the vector a right when you multiply with the two what happened its magnitude increased this is now n into a n times the magnitude of the vector is increased without changing its direction when n is positive understood if n is negative what sir let us see that also if n is i uh, have taken minus 2 right then n into a bar is equal to how minus 2 into 2i minus j plus 3k simple that is how much minus 4i plus 2j minus 6k again you got a vector but uh, the direction of the vector is uh, reversed here if a is this then n a will be this understood okay so here magnitude is increased n times but the direction of the vector is opposite to the a vector because we are multiplying with a negative scalar understood if you multiply with this positive scalar its direction is constant its direction no change no change in the direction understood but when you multiply with a negative scalar what happens direction changes direction changes understood no? so in this way one can uh, multiply any vector with uh, a scalar physical quantity a simple uh, mathematics okay multiplying a into b like a if it is a b you will be calculating that right now let us see how to multiply two vector physical quantities okay now we are going to learn with multiplication of uh, vector with uh, another vector with the another vector let us see that here there are uh, two kinds again one is a uh, scalar mul multiplication or you can call that as a scalar product and uh, second one is a uh, vector product one is scalar product second one is vector product i'll explain what is this 
so when you add two sorry when you multiply two vectors let us take uh, a is a vector and b is another vector okay you are multiplying these two vectors the result gives a scalar like a c okay so when the resultant of uh, product of uh, two vectors gives uh, scalar that is called a scalar product okay in physics we have many physical quantities uh, when you multiply two vector physical quantities uh, that gives a scalar physical quantity similarly vector product when you multiply two vectors the result is a vector like c bar okay this is called as a vector product understood vector product and a scalar product now let us learn today what is a scalar product and its properties let us see that okay scalar product it's very simple listen carefully i'll explain in a simple manner suppose uh, a and b are two vectors see this this is vector a and uh, another vector is b and the angle between these two vectors is theta now i want to calculate uh, a into b in scalar product uh, it is uh, read as uh, a dot b how to read it a dot b understood when you write a dot b this is the symbol a dot b okay no, sir so this is equal to modulus of a into modulus of b into cos of uh, angle between the two vectors cos of angle between two vectors so this is the formula to calculate uh, dot product of two vectors understood what is that nana a dot b is equal to mod a into mod b into cos theta clear right for example in this example magnitude of a let us take a small a and magnitude of b let us take small b then what will be a dot b a dot b is equal to a into b into cos theta that's it in this way one can calculate uh, scalar product of uh, two vectors understood right so let us see one example so the scalar product best example is uh, you might have learned that work work is the product of force and uh, displacement here force is a vector quantity and scalar also a vector quantity but the dot product the product of these two is giving a work it is a scalar quantity okay so that's why we write w is equal to f dot s it is a scalar quantity let us see an example suppose there is an object on the object a force is acting in this direction let us take this is uh, some 10 newton force is applied but the object is moving in this way okay the displacement is uh, two meters this example we have seen in uh, uh, vectors resolution a girl is pulling a suitcase she is applying force in this direction the suitcase is moving in this direction right now yeah now the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees now right now what is the work done by the girl it can be calculated by this so work done is equal to what is that f dot s right what is f dot s f mod f mod s into cos theta that is what is the magnitude of force 10 newton into what is the magnitude of displacement 2 meters into what is cos theta cos 30 degrees okay you know that is 20 into cos 30 is how much root 3 by 2 that is how much 10 root 3 joules is the work done understood nana so in this way one can calculate a dot product of any two vectors given vectors right so next continue this see here for example i want to calculate angle between the two vectors right two vectors are given for example 
i know the its magnitude and uh, i know the dot product of these two i want to calculate uh, angle between the two vectors right very simple so from this formula one can write uh, cos theta is equal to what is that a dot b by mod a into mod b so by using this formula you can calculate uh, angle between two vectors right and a cos theta is equal to a dot b by mod a into mod b this is the formula to calculate uh, angle whenever they asked to ang calculate angle between two vectors okay now let us see is a dot b equal to b dot a let us see that okay is a dot b equal to b dot a or not a dot b is equal or not to b dot a this is called commutative law in mathematics we might have learnt okay so vector addition obeys commutative law distributive law okay similarly let us see this dot product or scalar product obeys commutative law or not now let us see this is vector a and this is vector b and angle is theta now what is a dot b here a dot b is mod a into mod b into cos theta theta is a to b we are calculating a dot b theta is from a to b that is cos theta okay now what is b dot a okay this is mod b into mod a into cos of what is the angle between b and a okay we need to move from b to a understood b to a okay how much is that angle this total angle in a circle is 360 degrees okay this is already theta then this will be 360 minus theta am i correct yes so you know that uh, cos 360 minus theta is uh, cos theta how much nana cos theta so that it is uh, mod b into mod a into again cos theta now you observe is a dot b is equal to b dot a yes so that uh, the dot product of vectors obeys right which law commutative law this is called as commutative law commutative law the vector product sorry that scalar product or it can be called as dot product also that's why we read that as a dot b it obeys uh, commutative law clear right let us see what are the some other examples of uh, dot product similarly we have seen work is one of the example that is f dot s similarly there is another physical quantity power power is uh, a scalar but it is the dot product of two vectors force and velocity what is this velocity remember these two are the examples of a scalar product many examples are there but you remember this and one more thing it obeys uh, another law that is if a dot b plus c will be equal to a dot b okay plus a dot c remember this a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c right now we multiply simply mathematics in mathematics like a dot b plus a dot c we are multiplying a with b and again we are multiplying a with c okay this is also next let us see what is what will be a dot a vectors what i am doing i am multiplying the same vector what could be its value so let us write the formula what is that mod a into mod a into cos theta right now no. mod a let us take a magnitude of a i am taking as a and uh, this is also a then what is the angle between vector and itself this is vector a and again this is the vector a what is the angle between them zero therefore cos zero right what is cos zero value one so that a into a a square therefore a dot a is equal to how much nana 
a square clear this one right now let us uh, see dot product of uh, orthogonal unit vectors dot product of orthogonal unit vectors we learned what is uh, orthogonal unit vectors did you remember or not yeah so it is uh, i cap j cap k cap j cap and k cap so in x axis the unit vector is taken i cap in y axis the unit vector is taken j cap in y axis z axis the unit vector is taken k cap these are the orthogonal vectors along the orthogonal vectors we have taken unit vectors that is orthogonal unit vectors actually the important thing about unit vectors is to represent the direction now let us see dot product of uh, these uh, orthogonal unit vectors now first let us see i dot i i dot i is equal to how much okay and now tell me what is a dot b mod a mod b cos theta so this is mod i cap how much one because it is unit vector its magnitude is one and uh, mod i cap one into cos of what is the angle between x axis and x axis zero yes or no then uh, what is your answer that is one into one into cos zero is one that is equal to one understood therefore i dot i is equal to how much one right similarly can you tell z dot z how much z dot day one into one into cos zero that is also one similarly k dot uh, k one right now now let us uh, see what is i dot k i dot k let us see that okay now what is the formula i mod i cap into mod j cap into cos theta so we know that what is uh, mod i cap 1 into mod j cap 1 into what is the cos of angle between uh, x and y axis how much is this this is 90 degrees right 1 into 1 into cos 90 zero so that what zero okay i cross k is zero similarly what is a j sorry i dot k is zero similarly what is j dot k zero similarly what is a k dot i zero from this you can understand one point what is that the dot product of uh, two vectors which are perpendicular to each other is zero right if two vectors a is perpendicular to b then a dot b is equal to zero this is very important thing important result also okay if two vectors are perpendicular their dot product will be zero or if their dot product is zero they are perpendicular both the ways if you want to show that two vectors given vectors are perpendicular you calculate their dot product if you get the result zero then they are perpendicular understood or not yeah okay so this is now let us see some more uh, examples on this okay suppose vectors are given like uh, a is equal to 2i a is equal to 2i plus j minus k and b is equal to i minus j plus 2k are given suppose now i want to calculate uh, a dot b right a dot b here angle is not given okay now so they are given in the vector form magnitudes are not given they are given in the vector form how to calculate very simple so this is uh, first you multiply 2i into i that is 2i dot i okay next plus into minus minus j dot 
j j into j okay next minus into plus minus okay k dot 2k clear next completed this one now 2i with j 2i dot j i dot j is zero already yes or no right next j with i zero j with k zero k dot i zero k dot j zero right remaining things will be zero just do this okay two i i j into j k into k that's it these three if you multiply you will get the answer so that is i dot i is one so two into one two minus j dot j one minus k dot k one one into two two then how much is this minus three plus two that is uh, minus one okay so this is a scalar or vector minus one is scalar or vector yes it is a scalar physical quantity when you multiply the two vectors in this process you will be getting the scalar so it is called as a scalar product understood in this way one can calculate the dot product of two vectors when the vectors are given clear nana very good now let us see how to calculate angle here if they ask calculate angle between these two vectors what is the formula for angle cos theta is equal to a dot b by mod a into mod b okay now nah? already we got a dot b right then calculate mod a mod a is what root over 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 right so mod a is how much root over 4 plus 1 plus 1 this is a uh, root 6 what about mod b root over 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 2 square how much is this root 6 so that what is this value a dot b is minus 1 okay divided by root uh, 16 into root 6 just to simplify that you will be getting the answer okay now so now let us see some of the examples uh, how to calculate uh, dot product okay see that uh, two vectors are given here okay one is a as a uh, 2i minus 3j plus k and another vector is uh, i plus j and uh, plus k okay so now these are mutually perpendicular we should prove that prove that a is uh, perpendicular to b we need to prove it okay to prove that uh, two vectors are perpendicular what we need to do if we show that their dot product is uh, zero then they are perpendicular yes or no like you can do a dot b or b dot a both are same now let us see a sorry b dot a that is i plus j plus k dot 2i minus 3j plus k okay now let us see i dot 2i that is 2 minus into plus minus j dot 3j that is minus 3 plus k dot k is 1 is this value 0 or not 0 therefore a is uh, perpendicular to b okay no 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 sometimes it will be given 2i minus 3j plus k i plus j plus uh, c k something is given here c into k okay these two vectors are perpendicular calculate the value of c if these two vectors are perpendicular calculate the value of c is given okay what you need to do you calculate the dot product here what do you get in place of uh, 1 k dot c k that you will be getting c here okay so what 2 minus 3 plus c is equal to 0 because they are given it is perpendicular so dot product will be 0 then from this what is the value of c 1 understood in this way one can calculate a dot product of vectors clear 
so this is uh, today's concept we will meet in the next session if you like it press like button so that uh, it gives motivation for uh, i can do more vac uh, videos like this okay and uh, subscribe my channel don't forget and uh, share it to your friends so that uh, our channel will reach to many members thank you very much